This video is brought to you by Dapper, one of the grid's leading tattoo creators in Second Life. SLURL in the description below. What is going on guys, it is Dazza here and I welcome you to a brand new video. You may be wondering why I haven't done voiceovers for Yonks and the reason is because I wanted to play around with different styles of editing but I was requested to do a voiceover for this video giving my opinions on the box, so I shall. As you have probably seen by the title, I'm going to be showcasing all of the items from the latest Builders Box, Home and Decor subscription box in Second Life. The theme this round is Snowstorm, due to it nearly being Christmas, so let's get started. The first set we have is from New Church. Coming in at a total of 16 land impact, we have the Bjorn living room set. As you can see, we have a sofa and a chair with animations, a console table, a lamp, which you can turn on and off with a click, and a coffee table. My favourite part, honestly, is the sofa. I really love the amount of effort that has gone into detailing it, and I also like that it's fairly neutral, so it works in pretty much any style of home. Next up we have a stunning skybox by Fourth Wall. It is the Mountain Lodge skybox coming in at a maximum land impact of only 53. My favourite part about this build is the walk-in wardrobe, which allows you to place anything inside of, like, shoes or clothing or whatever takes your fancy, really. I also love the outdoor scene which you can see through the windows and love that you can use this skybox all year round as the folder contains a non-outdoor scene option. Next up we have the Winter Cabin by Schultz Bros coming in at 90 land impact which isn't all that bad for a house. A few notable features are that you can turn the chimney smoke on and off, the cabin does not come with a stove or fireplace so you'll have to add that yourself and you can make the photo on the wood log transparent in case you don't want to see it. I really love the roof tiling on this structure as each tile is separate. It's not just a flat surface with a 3D looking texture. The inside again is very simplistic, making it easy to decorate without needing a ton of furniture. This building would look perfect on a Christmassy themed sim or just on your own private land. Here we have the Winter Vibes Collection by Architect and it's a really nice wintery themed set featuring an adult and PG bed, bed table, slippers, messy carpet, nightstand and rocking chair of animations. If you choose to res all of this gear it'll be a total of 18 land impact which is really low for a whole set. I really do like the bed because it's a sort of mix between modern and classic as it almost looks like it's floating from certain angles, yet it has a wood finish for the base. Next up we have the Cozy Winter Sofa by Chi Mia, and there is a few things that I really like about this, the first being the land impact which is only 3 and that's super good for such a detailed sofa. The second thing I like is that you can change the textures by clicking on the sofa and attaching the HUD it gives you so you can accustom it to your liking. This house is known as the Split House and it is made by the designers at Convair. The house I'm showing is actually 194 land impact but there are less heavy land impact versions available in the pack. On the outside of the house are icicles hanging from the roof which I think is really cool and adds to the theme and inside is an ultra modern layout which by now you probably know I love. I have always loved modern interiors. Also around the house are fireplaces and coming soon at the time of this video will be a custom kitchen made exclusively for this build. Next up we have a few little decor items from Dahlia. This set is known as the Denmark Collection and includes a blanket in three colours, cappuccino tray, heart stall in three colours and a set of mirrors. I mean, who doesn't love a good old cappuccino on a winter's morning? If you were to res out one colour of each item you would have a total of only five land impact, which is wonderful. This next item is an incredibly detailed skybox from Craftwork. I always love a good skybox, and at only 126 land impact, I'm definitely going to be using this on my land in the future. As you can see, it is based mainly off of a kitchen, but has a large empty floor area which you can use to decorate with whatever kind of furniture you want. The central counter can be unlinked and does include animations, which is a really cool feature, and as I know, a lot of you guys like taking photos in Second Life, so this will be great for taking photos with. Next up we have a really nice looking fireplace set by Madras. This set has been named Aish Fireplace Set and includes a fireplace, bottle decor, fireplace tool, mirror in multiple colours and a hub to change the fireplace itself. The detailing on this fireplace is incredible along with the other items in the pack. I would definitely be using this due to the sheer amount of detail. 
even the fire looks close to realistic. I've rezzed out the linked set which is only 6 land impact. Here we have a release from Mudhoney and they have released the Arwen Movie Night set which includes an adult or PG version of a blanket, drinks tray, laptop, movies and popcorn. It's a really detailed set and will make for a great picture. With everything rezzed it has a total land impact of 12 which isn't much at all. Next up we have a really interesting set from Raindale. They have released the Snow Day Picnic set. With everything rezzed it totals to 18 land impact but the reason I say this is interesting is because the sled chairs have been to animations. You can even click on a snowball, pick one up and throw it if you wanted to have a snowball fight. Or you can also click on the cup to take one and hold it. What more could you want? The final item we have is by Serenity Style and they have released the Cozy Winter set which is a bench, lantern and log crate totalling to 10 land impact when all rezzed. The chair of course has single animations and cup animations which as always is really nice to see. Anyway that is going to sum up this video, I really do hope that you enjoyed as this did take a lot of editing but I enjoy it so it's fine. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.